This man was responsible for the death of up to a million people in Nazi-controlled Croatia. It was one of the worst atrocities of the ethnic cleansing in World War II. His name, Andrea Artukovic, Nazi Minister of the Interior in Croatia. He arrived in Ireland in July 1947. In July 1944, this man commanded an SS unit responsible for some of the bloodiest actions of the German occupation in France. His name, Celestin Lanny, commander of the Breton SS militia. He arrived in Ireland in December 1947. This man murdered hundreds of Jews in wartime Poland, often burying his victims alive. Even today, no Jew lives in the villages he visited. His name, Peter Menton, SS Schaffuhrer. He arrived in Ireland in February 1963. In 1945, as a naive 16-year-old, I joined the Royal Air Force and was sent to Burma at the end of the war against the Japanese. On leave in Ireland, we couldn't wear our uniform because of our neutrality, something that irritates me still. When I returned home from the Royal Air Force in 1947, people who were part of the Nazi terror were being allowed into Ireland. Former collaborators and Nazis, some of whom were actually involved in the Holocaust, were seeking asylum in Ireland. And official Ireland seemed to give a greater welcome to Nazis and former collaborators than they did to returning war veterans. with me then on my travels as I try to find out who these Nazis were, where they came from and how they got into Ireland. 